Hey guys, and welcome to today's video where we're going to show you how you can level up your chatbot automations by using JavaScript. And the best part is you don't even have to know specifically in depth what JavaScript does or how to write it because uChat is going to help you do so. So for this example, we created a few different kinds of use cases which you might use JavaScript for. So the first one would be to have a random password API key generator, right? So if we're going to take a look inside, you will see a code and for you who do not use JavaScript on a daily basis or only heard the word, right? Or not even that, this might seem really, really developer-like. And how would you then basically produce these kinds of codes? Well, if you connected OpenAI towards your workspace under the integrations tab, you are able to use AI to generate these kinds of codes. So first of all, let's test this function and take a look at what it produces, right? So we have a different kind of password generator every single time this script is going to run, as you can see perfectly looking and fine looking passwords. Now, let's create this by pressing the button try generate by AI, right? Inside, we have 500 characters to basically give a detailed description of the script that you want to use. So let's say what JavaScript feature you need, right? So let's say I need a password generator that meets the following condition conditions. So let's say um, total characters need to be uh, 21, uh, let's say um, the password uh, needs to be a mix of capital and lowercase letters, include uh, numbers, let's say also include symbols and special characters, there we go. And is there anything else that we might want to include as well, right? Uh, I think this is about it. 21 characters, capital, lowercase, include numbers, include symbols and special characters. So let's hit that generate button and let's see what AI inside of UChat comes up with for you, a custom-made solution. And it just takes a few seconds, most likely up to five seconds. And now we already have a script up, up and running basically, right? So we have a code. And again, you don't need to understand this if you don't want to. But if we say test the function, you will see that we get an output and the first time might take a little bit, my internet is a little bit slow these days. And as you can see, we each and every time we get a different kind of password. How cool is this that you can just do this by generating by AI, right? So let's go towards the next use case, which is to check an email format. So inside we have this kind of email format, this JavaScript. It basically checks if the email format is valid. So not if the email itself exists, yes or no, because we cannot call a external API uh, to check that within this JavaScript node, but we can check if the format is correctly formatted. And if we take a look here, if we say test the function, we'll see that we get a result of true. If we just leave the, uh, basically the uh, domain name off and say test function, we get a false, right? So again, going to delete this and let's say try generate by AI. So let's say I need to be able to check the given email and see if the format is correct. It needs to meet the following conditions. So again, we're just going to list down the con uh, conditions, right? So um, there needs there need to be at least uh, two characters in front of the add sign. Add sign must be included. Um, let's say domain name, uh, the domain extension must be included. And let's say um, at least two characters need to be added, uh, need to be present after the add sign and in front of the domain extension. I think this is pretty much it. What you could also say, uh, and again, I'm just listing all the parameters and for the ones that do not know coding that much, you could also say, I need to check the given email through a regex script, so regular expression. Uh, but this will suffice as well. So let's say press generate. And from here, we should get a script in just mere seconds. So let's see what the AI is coming up with. And as you can see, we have something here. The great thing about this generation is it's also, if we have parameter names, it's also going to implement them directly inside the script for us. So if we're going to take a look now, right? We should get a false status. So let's take a look. And if we add the domain name, so let's go with this one. It should return true. Um, let's say there is no add sign. So let's see if that also checks as false. Indeed it does. 
And now let's also see if when having just one character after the add sign, if it also returns false, right? So let's see if that also works. And that one returns true. So as you can see, not all parameter or not all the instructions have been caught by the generation of the script. So you can try to generate another kind of description a little bit more into detail, and then we can try it again. So let's do that right now and see what we get back. And now that we generated a little bit of a different description, let's see if this returns correct. So let's see, this one just returned true. So let's check it again and let's see what we get. Now we get a false status, right? So if I add one more character, there we go, we should get a true status. There we go. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to generate. Nine out of 10 times the script will automatically work uh, from the first try. And otherwise you might need to try a few times, give a little bit more of a detailed description in order to get towards that specific value. But as you can see, really easy to just generate a script use it as well. No coding knowledge needed whatsoever. So let's go towards the next one, which is to check a phone number format, which is also pretty important, especially when working with SMS or WhatsApp channels to make sure that you always have the exact same format. For example, if you get phone numbers from an inbound webhook or by API call, you always want to make sure that the phone number is in the exact same format. So let's take a look at this one. As you can see, nothing has been included here yet, but we can say try generate by AI. So what we need, as you can see, we have a given phone number. Um, I need to have a country code added and also have a specific leading number, right? So those are the two parameters that we are going to give. And also if the leading number is not the correct one, remove all the numbers in front of that leading number and then return the correct formatted phone number. So let's take a look how we can achieve this. So let's say I need to format the given phone number into the correct format. Let's say convert the given phone number into the correct format. Uh, and then let's say using the following conditions. One, uh, country code must be present, uh, which is plus 36. Let's say leading number after country code is seven. Uh, that is specific to my location, right? Um, let's then also say any numbers in front of leading number need to in front of leading number and after a country code need to be removed. So let's say generate and see what kind of script we are going to get. So here we have a script and let's see if we can see if we get the correct result every single time uh, depending on the test value, right? Um, so let's take a look, let's say test. And again, I do not have a country code and I have an invalid leading number. So let's see if this is being removed and a country code has been added. So let's say test function. And as you can see, the eight has been removed, the country code has been added, and then we have the proper format. So let's say if we have plus 36 and we have eight nine in front, right? Eight nine should be removed. So let's take a look. And as you can see, eight nine has been removed. So that is how easy it is to generate such a difficult JavaScript by AI. Again, you might get different results every single time you try to generate an AI because it's still inconsistent and depending on your description, right? Uh, but as you can see, I did not touch any of the code and we got a really good looking format, really professionally done and works with every kind of single format that you get. So let's go towards the next one, which could be to format a date and time. So if we take a look here, then you will see that we have a, a given a date and time from basically fetch from the system field now. And in my case, I have an offset of plus two. And if we take a look here, if we run the script, we get different kinds of variations. So if we are going to run this, we will have this kind of variation, this kind of variation. And we can save all of this inside of a JSON field. And then upon the next section, we can basically um, determine which kind of format that we prefer to return towards the user, right? So that is something that we can do as well. So let's just delete this. There we go. And now let's see if we can um, provide a generated AI script again. So let's say I need to uh, convert uh, the given date and time into five different formats uh, meeting the following conditions. Let's say um, date must be included, um, time must be included. Let's say um, the use of AM and PM uh, are preferred. 
in one of the provided formats. Let's say uh, anything else that we need to uh, need to have. Um, let's say the formats for date need to have uh, days and um, days. Well, let's well actually let's just leave this and let's see uh, what AI is going to produce with this. So let's say generate by AI and let's see what we get, right? And again, the JavaScript uh, by AI is also accounting for the specific parameter name that we already gave on top of the JavaScript. So if we have multiple variables, it's also going to give those multiple variables. Variables, sorry. So if we are going to take a look now, again, a pretty big size JavaScript, as you can see here, right? And let's see if we say test function, what kind of formats that we get back. As you can see, we get this format back and we have this one, we have this one, this one with AM, and we also have this one, right? And uh, again, if these are not uh, towards your own liking, you can also uh, give a more detailed uh, description of the format that you want. But again, you can just save all of these formats to a JSON field and then use any of them in the next step to present towards the user. So really, really cool stuff. And again, I did not write a single line of code and this has been generated within just seconds. If we go towards the last one, which is to format order details. So if we're going to take a look inside, you will see that I have a parameter name for order, and we have the system field for order. And so as soon as an order has been processed during the checkout, it has been paid for, it will basically convert the card items into an order. And then I have a test value here with just two options, right? So what I need, and I did not provide any kind of uh, specific um, script for this just yet, let's say try generate by AI. So let's say something like um, convert the order payload into a nicely formatted order overview receipt. Uh, it needs the following. Um, it needs the following kind of overview. So let's say uh, here is your product or here is your order uh, with, here's your order overview of order uh, with ID and then let's do this. Let's also implement a little bit of a divider. And then let's say product name, insert product name, insert product name. Then we have, uh, let's say, uh, quantity, right? Quantity, uh, insert quantity. And then we have the subtotal. So let's say subtotal in case there are any taxes. Let's say total. And then let's say uh, loop through all, well, actually, let's also do a divider here. And then let's say loop through all the products and uh, output them like above. Then end the overview with the script, uh, with the subtotal and total of the entire order. So let's see if this provides enough details for the AI to come up with a specific section and specific formatting, right? So let's say generate and let's see what we get. And here we have the produced order overview by AI. So as you can see, pretty, pretty neat and really advanced stuff. And again, did not touch anything uh, writing wise, right? So let's say test function. And now we have this kind of overview. So I already mapped this towards the uh, custom field order formatted. So let's see how this looks like on the front end. So let's just go with a preview and pop-up and let's see what we get, right? And as you can see, all of that coding results in this kind of overview. So here is your order overview for 1021, which is the order ID number. So we have the product name, we have the quantity, the subtotal, the total, and then a divider, and then we have the next product. And this will go on if you have multiple products until you reach the order total overview of subtotal and total. So these are just a few use cases where you can use the generate by AI to generate pretty advanced JavaScripts on the fly. No need to have any kind of JavaScript knowledge, coding knowledge, as mentioned, we want UChat to also be accessible uh, for these kinds of use cases for non-coders as well. Of course, if you have the coding knowledge, you can customize the entire script towards your own liking, but these are really good starting scripts for non-coders to also provide the same kind of functionality inside of the chatbots for your own business or that of clients. If you have any questions, do let us know. We'll try to help you out as soon as possible. If you like the video, do consider dropping a like and also subscribe towards the channel if you have not done so already. For now, have a great day. Take care and talk soon.